Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Vampire Q here, casting. Uh, not about a win or any strategy videos or reaction videos or whatever, but uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys um, what you should do in a team game, which I think is lacking in uh, most players because from what I've seen. A lot of players quit at the slightest hint Additional that they will lose. They then they just say something, they rage, or they simply just quit, and then they give up without even trying. So um, this video is about my team, me. Uh, we were on the losing side, but then because we stuck on, uh, in the end we. Uh, turn the, the initial loss into a final victory so well actually I'm ill right now so uh, as I was playing this game uh, I cannot really think straight and uh, my reaction is like retarded uh, most of the time it's like I've got this numb headache in my Oh, it's just simply paralyzing me the, the way I think I cannot think properly at all. So you see me trying to micro the marine rather than send my SCBs to help and uh, Yeah, so right now you see me I'm trying to build more barracks and trying to proxy uh, To do a last stand before I die And then this guy Gusmo very soon you see him leave. I don't know what meant by this tosser bass but whatever so um, apparently you can oh, see that the the left side of this team is pretty much screwed which is me and oh, that goose guy so uh, right now I'm just doing what uh, I think is the best which is uh, which is very important when you're on the losing side that is to die as slow as possible you want to delay your death for as much as possible which means that you should fight to stay alive try to be as much help to your teammate as much as possible uh, doesn't matter that you're gonna get owned or whatever because you're you're already behind there's no way you can uh, take the enemy head on in terms of army count or technology you're simply way way behind so right now I have my proxy barracks which was discovered by yellow and I pull it over the pink's base which is exactly in line with what I'm trying to put across that is to die as slow as possible be as uh, be of as much help to your teammate as possible so right now uh, I'm controlling both my base and Tew's base, uh, gotta see what his name is, Gusmo, Gusmo, that's his name. So right now, uh, my barracks is discovered, so I thought 3 marines are gonna do as much damage as possible. Uh, shooting drones and uh, shooting down all these servings that are focused firing on me, microing as best as I can, and all the same while dealing as much damage to the economy of pain as much as possible. So, uh, since my barracks is already discovered, I just move it away. So yeah, just staying alive for as much as possible, and I'm trying to rebuild as hard as I can. So, um, if you if you have a teammate that left, make sure you make use of his buildings, even if it's just building SCVs or workers from his building, it will help a lot because uh, because of the way StarCraft 2 is now. Uh, any player that is that has left the game but still has remaining bases uh, anyone can utilize them and resources gathered can be uh, split among all the players so you can see that even though uh, previously I wasn't mining a lot mining any gas I'm still receiving gas which means my teammates are also receiving gas and definitely even is like two gas per second it is still two gas per second is of some help and uh, yeah, so I'm just trying to rebuild all over, trying to stay alive for as long as possible, pick off this uh, stray reaper, and trying to be the eyes. So I, sp <coughs> sorry, 
So I spotted that big mass of bio ball and I just signaled to my friends. Uh, there's a huge battle going on here. Uh, absolutely there's nothing I can do but I'm just trying my best to rally my forces. You can see I'm clearly outnumbered here but every bit of extra firepower it helps. So uh, my game plan now is uh, I'm way way behind compared to everybody so what can I do? I, I was thinking I'm with mass tank and just turtle like hell. Just turtle, stay alive. Because when you're alive, uh, the opponent has to think. They have to worry constantly about you. Whether you come back or not. Whether you mess up a force and own them somehow in late game. Uh, oh man, I lost my train of thought. They have to constantly look out for you to try to harass you and if you're trying your best to stay alive then you're, you're, you're diverting their attention which could be more focused on my other two teammates but right now I'm just like rebuilding all over, rebuilding all of s all, all, a lot of crap all over and now you can see that I'm sitting on a lot of resources this is something that I could do better uh, but like I said, uh, I wasn't really in my best of conditions and seeing this bio ball come into my base and float my buildings away uh, sacrifice my factory as like a damn bit to draw his fire to keep my CC alive and yeah, I basically just staying in the game for as long as possible and you can see now that my friends have, uh, my teammates have messed up quite a bit and uh, right now I'm thinking of transitioning to Banshees because obviously I cannot fight them on the ground so why not do it through the air like you know Banshees you have the uh, freedom freedom of path of movement you can fly over anything, you can fly anywhere so Banshees are going to be good to add distracting fire to the enemy so right now I'm just transitioning to Banshees for uh, for as long as I can and yeah I'm just trying to keep my stuff alive uh, rebuilding Goose Mode and uh, you can see that we're in a whole lot of trouble but then uh, because the opponent they have their uh, <coughs> they have their uh, men they have their attention split into having to pay their attention onto me um, we're pretty much able to survive this game and for some reason, I don't know why, the opponent just simply stuck on to, uh, to, to units that can only shoot down and so right now I'm just floating my barracks, uh, my factory away because my game plan now is Banshee, so I want to be able to build starports and if my factory dies I cannot build starports so I'm going to hide it in the corner and uh, while rebuilding all my stuff I my attention lapsed and Guzmo's base died but it served its purpose the higher expansion is very much mined and whoa I made a starport there I didn't even know forgot so on the minimap I saw that uh, there's an attack coming at my base and is it all roaches, they cannot shoot air. So what I do best, close my command center and just avoid being killed. <coughs> and when the spread is gone, I'll just land back down. You can see that I'm just building command centers all over because I have so much minerals. I'm getting harassed by banshees over here, trying to keep my SUVs alive, pulling it away. Our allies are being attacked. I'm just maxing command center now because uh, with command center you get uh, Our allies are being attacked. Get, what was that? You get a scan, you get news, all of which is very beneficial Upgrade to you. Complete. And, and, and right now I'm just uh, put it in some effort, you know, to it's time that I come back this time I do something for my dead status so banshees are just flying out and trying to attack as much as possible, cause as much as I possibly can 
But alas, my stuff. You see, all this constant harassment. Very irritating for me, yeah. But the thing is, like I said again, I'm drawing their attention. They have to put effort into killing me. And if I simply don't die, then they constantly have to keep in mind that I am still alive. I can come back anytime, like I have now. Uh, that many banshees, six of them. I can deal a whole lot of pain. Which I am about to do. Now, cloak and. Uh, I was being wary of the uh, scare, so I was trying to mag micro <coughs> my banshees around. And you see, uh, because of now, now that the uh, medivacs, uh, how should I put this in terms? When you right click on, when you try to load uh, units into medivacs, it is full, units will follow, and apparently that's what happened, so yellows. Units, they were all following the medivac, so giving me three shots off his ground unit, and I spotted his banshee sitting there. And immediately, my Viking went to take care of this match. The sitting banshees, you can see, we've annihilated their attack force, and because I'm so mobile with the banshees, I can just continue to go harass, which I'm doing now. Bang, bang, all the drones die, sniping down the uh, lair. Landing my command center again, lift this, lifting this one up, trying to stay alive for as long as possible. You can see this cycle just repeats, and now you see my friends, my, my teammates, they have through all this uh, attacking me that I'm trying to keep alive. I have bought my team enough time for them to rebuild, and now we've got one person, and another one guy from the opponent team, two from the opponent team. Uh, they have left. Uh, Our allies are being attacked. Very soon you will see Our them whole team leave, and attacked. I'm just doing what I do best, staying alive. Four barracks trying to uh, pump out as much marines as possible. So now my Vikings, yeah, they do something useful. Snipe uh, that those good lords. It doesn't really matter if my forces die right now because. My teammates, they've got so, so much crap now that even if I were to lose all my uh, banshees, my vikings, even my whole bloody base, the damage has been dealt to the opponent. Victory is ours, as you can see right now. I'm just trying to mass units, stay alive, stay alive. You keep hearing me say this. Now, there's a rage, and bang! We've won! That's it, man. Uh, and when uh, th we went to the score screen, I was dead bottom. I was the last player with like 30,000 score while the others, my teammates especially, blue and perp, they're like 1 200,000. A big, big difference. It's like anyone who, who sees the uh, screen will think that I'm the lever, you know, but. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not the, the bottom last. That's another game. Uh, for this game, I'm actually quite somewhere around the middle, but on the lower side. But as you can see, simply because I refuse to die, I'm just so stubborn at staying alive. Just keep rebuilding my shit over and over again, trying to mess up my units. You can see, uh, from a loss, this game basically is a four v two because from the moment I died or rather put in a bad position is basically four players against these two you the opponent can simply discount me but then I'm just I just keep trying to come back you know what I mean it's like uh I don't know how else I can drill this in the people stay in the game don't quit even if you lose every single thing and the game says whoever no longer has any forces exclamation mark like wow they take delight in announcing that get your friends to share control with you you can help them micro you can help them move units around like you know you can be their eyes but in this case I had more purpose I can rebuild I can pass money which I didn't which I should have I believe so my general point for this video is when 
you lose your stuff don't quit just stay because you never know uh, that you may actually turn the game around even though you're on the losing side because you get economical advantage from this base that I was controlling which belonged to Guzmo and yeah I guess I cannot say any much more um yeah so I guess I guess you, you guys don't mind my my really retarded way of speaking now because I'm just like oh my head fever and cold uh, not a best combination that I would like it sucks to be ill yeah I know but uh, so I guess I'm going to cut off now uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys enjoyed my really dull monotonous cast of this game and yeah vampire Q out <laughs>